we have made our way over to DreamWorks land and the kids are excited. So DreamWorks land is the brand new section here at Universal. It just literally opened up officially uh, like eight or nine days ago. Uh, they did a soft opening and sort of a media event within the last month, but this all new area here, they have a, a swamp meet where you can meet Shrek and Donkey. They also have a Gabby's Dollhouse where you can meet Gabby's Dollhouse. There's a troller coaster here. There is a Kung Fu Panda thing here. There's all kinds of things. We're gonna go in, we're gonna show you around a few different things. DreamWorks land. Welcome to our land. Join the awesomeness here at DreamWorks Universal. They also have uh, swamp snacks here. You can pick yourself up a swamp snack. This is where we saw the Shrexel at. It is a uh, pretzel that is in the face of Shrek. Shrek Swamp is here. This used to be where Fievel Goes West was. Uh, there is the uh, Shrek's Swamp, his little hut house that he lives in. Now currently the Shrek uh, meet and greet is not happening, but that's all right. We're gonna keep moseying on around, see what else they got over here. Now it is crowded over here, but I kind of expected that with it being uh, a newly opened land. There's a little splash pad, some splash pad rules. No food or beverages, no glass, no animals. You know, do not swallow the fountain water. Make sure you remind your kids not to swallow the fountain water. Hey, there's the troller coaster going. So this little kids area here has these little, uh, I don't know what these little things are. They're like little onion pods or something. And they... What? This is something to shade you off, definitely. Okay. So yeah, this is kind of a cool little area for kids to play in. The uh, ground is very spongy. I like that. It's very soft to walk on. Doesn't hurt my feet, which is nice. It's a little uh, Trolls Treats. Looks like a uh, old school boom box, which is kind of cool. It's the Brozone Berry, Huckleberry Soft Serve. So it's an ice cream stand. Uh, they got uh, green leaf sprinkles. There's a Populicious Pink, Pink Lemonade. So Jason just pointed out, which I didn't realize until we got over here, that they actually don't have a restaurant inside this land. Uh, they missed a great opportunity because what did you what did you suggest? So they have the, the noodles that that Poe makes uh, from from Kung Fu Panda. Uh, they have like a noodle play area, but they don't have a noodle shop. I mean, I don't get it. missed the chance to have a noodle restaurant. Yeah. So Kung Fu area, Kung Poe's Kung Fu area is back that way. We'll go back that way in just a little bit. We're actually just hanging out right at the moment, waiting on uh, a Trolls meet and greet, which starts in just a few minutes. So we're just hanging out. This is the Trolls Troller Coaster. It is a kid's roller coaster. Now, this is just a re-themed ride. It was uh, Woody Woodpecker's roller coaster previously, uh, and now they have just re-changed it. They've changed it over, re-changed it. They've re-themed it to the Trolls Troller Coaster. Unfortunately, it has a really, really long wait time right now. It is a 55 minute wait time and it's also stuck. See that? It is stuck right there at the top of the hill. Oy vey. Anyway, um, this is the troller coaster. And a shout out to uh, Rick's Flicks, who's one of the Universal vloggers that we watch. He started calling this thing the troller coaster like three years ago. Like literally, like, like I think he probably is the one that actually named it. Because when it was just a rumor that they were gonna redo this land, he started calling it the troller coaster then. So I think he's the one that probably named it. He should get credit for it. What's up Cloud, buddy? It's the High Five Hideaway. Although that guy only has a four fingers. So it shouldn't be the high four hideaway. Anywho, if you're looking for some trolls memorabilia, some uh, Shrek, there's the gingerbread man. 
not the gumdrop buttons. Fiona, Shrek, some Kung Fu Panda back here. I do have some uh, Bever Jaws. These are cool. Check out these ears. Very cool. Let's see what's over here. Got some sandals, some troll shirts, Poppy. Now Jason has never seen Poppy. Jason, never. this is Poppy. Yeah. He's never he's never watched Trolls. Yeah. So this is Poppy, and we're gonna go meet uh, we're gonna go meet Poppy and Branch here in a few minutes. I assume that's them on the, on the little yeah, it is okay. that you are correct. That would be them. They're over there on the fountain. But we're gonna go meet meet the real Poppy and the real Branch here in just a few minutes. So if you've ever seen Puss in Boots, this area here is all Puss in Boots. Um, this is the cat house that's in the Puss in Boots. I don't know the lady's name, I don't remember, but she has like a million adopted cats that live in her house. That's what this is. This is this area. And there's little things here you can do. Let's see. I'm pushing a button, but I don't see what it's doing. There's a fireplace over here. Oh, okay, we push the fire button, I think, or the fire, push the button, it makes the fireplace work. It's dropping the little balls there. Yep, see? Push the button, and a lot. Push the button, there they go. Very cool. All right, we are gonna get to meet Poppy and Branch. Now, Guy Diamond was out here earlier. We missed Guy Diamond, but we traded Guy Diamond for Poppy and Branch, which is okay. Oh yeah, her glasses match. All right. She <laughs> did. <laughs> Nether dancing. We are now walking into Poe's Kung Fu training camp. I think my children have just adopted Jason. They're just hanging out with him. So, that's all right. I'm okay with that. He's good people, so I'm okay with it. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of water. A lot of water. So there's a lot of splash padding going on down here. Just a little splash pad area. And they've got more over there. So the kids have come over here. Now they're not as wet as Jason is, but they come and took their uh, shoes and stuff off. Here's uh, Mr. Ping's noodle. Caboodle. Just a couple little things over there like uh, merry-go-rounds for kids to do. Is that fun? Yeah. It's like a ride. Oh, it's no way time. It's just teacups. I know. It's crazy. All right, so now we're going into the theater. This is a, a new show as part of... All right, thank you. 
Let's see. Other side. I'm really glad you could find your way here. This is a very special place to me. It's where me and my friend Zane used to play and have adventures when we were younger. It turns out Zane is actually having a hard time using his imagination, so I thought bringing him out here may help re-spark something inside of him. Maybe. We haven't been here in ages. See, Zane, I told you. This is the place. I can't believe you can still find our favorite spot where we used to hang out. Looks like a lot. Coaster, the only ride here. We have another slide right there. And then we go up. We have a tunnel. 
Then we have another slide. Yeah, 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 my dad owns it. And then we go over here. And this is the main thing of our journey. The fart slide. Here we go. This is, uh, okay. This is King Harold's Swamp Symphony. You jump on the little frog pads here, the little lily pads, and the frogs sing to you. Well, they kind of croak, they don't really sing. Not much singing, is it, Jen? No. Not much singing. Not a lot of singing there. <laughs> that would sound like it's dying. Yep. Uh, Arr. Arr.